hey and what's up you guys it's your girl ashonda b and i am back with a new video so in today's video i'm just going to be showing you guys what i've been doing to help me with hair growth and help me with hair moisture as well so first i've been using this which is rose water regular water and um leave-in conditioner sometimes i add olive oil sometimes i don't um but yes this has rose water regular water and leave-in conditioner and i use this to help moisturize my hair i dilute it in the water so that um i won't get any buildup of any sort but still get that moisture from the leave-in conditioner so this is one of the things that i do almost every day and as you guys can see, I am just really trying to spread it throughout the entire head. Um, yeah, just make sure you're covering everything, the front, the back, the middle. Um, the middle is always the part I seem to forget sometimes. So you want to just make sure you're giving, getting every inch of your hair for that moisture, you guys. So once I'm done spraying the um, spray on my hair, I like to just rub it in um, on the ends and just make sure it's deep throughout the locks because I need, need, need that extra moisture, you guys. Like, y'all know how hard it is for locks to stay moisturized. So yeah, I just make sure that I'm rubbing it in really, really well. So next, I'm going to go in with the oil. I always do this, you guys, even before locking my head. Once I'm moisturized, I go in with the oil to seal in the moisture. And you don't specifically have to use this one, but I've been use this, using this one from the Butterland. Um, this is a growth oil, and I got this from a brand called Conjo Naturally. I'll put everything in the description box. But yeah, I just go in and make sure that I oil my hair, my scalp, my ends with oil. I just put this like legit everywhere throughout my head and you do not have to be stingy you guys especially if you have um thick locks like mine make sure you're using enough oil okay we want to see shine we want to see the oil just shine right off of your hair so make sure you're using enough and don't be shy y'all So one of the last steps I do is go in with my fingers and massage my scalp, you guys. This is one of the main things that's going to bring you hair growth more than the oil, more than the moisturizer. This is legit specifically for promoting hair growth to your hair. So yes, you guys, I make sure that I massage my scalp. I massage the front, the back, the sides. I literally massage my whole entire hair, you guys. And do it for a nice amount of time. Don't just try to rush through it because you just want it to um, penetrate. You want the hair and the um, products to penetrate throughout your head. So yes, you guys, I do this or try to do this in the morning and the night. You can do it for more times. It'll just bring you faster hair growth. But that's why and I do it because that's usually when I touch my hair in general when I wake up preparing for the day and when I'm dimming down and preparing to go to sleep you guys now I just went ahead and put my hair in a ponytail I usually um, use to just put my hair in a ponytail or like a high style when I'm done moisturizing and sealing in the moisture for my hair but my locks are so thick so it's been um, giving me tension lately. So what I've been doing is still putting that ponytail up, but make sure it's loose. And then I try to protect it sometimes more than I used to by putting a scarf on it. And you don't have to be going anywhere. I just styled it with this scarf and in this style because I actually went somewhere after um, doing this video. But you can legit just put like a regular scarf over your head. It doesn't have to be fancy and just walk around the house or do 
what you need to do in the house. If you're an influencer, do your influencer stuff in the house or just literally just chill if you're not doing anything just to have your hair protected. I also like to wear scarves over my head when I'm going to sleep like this. Um, just to protect your hair from like cotton and stuff like that so you don't get those type of things in your head i also do use silk pillowcases if you're not wanting to use like a scarf at night because that can also be difficult and slip off and stuff like that so a silk pillowcase is a good alternative for that just um so your hair can maintain moisture because cotton seems to like soak up your moisture it seems to get in your hair and stuff like that so that is um just another alternative you guys use a scarf protect the hair especially in the winter time the hair gets really really dry just like the skin the hair gets really really dry you guys but yes, you guys, you guys just seen me put on the scarf from the back and I just roll it in different ways and try to um, roll it until it gets to the tip and then just tuck it in because I don't like tying it in a knot because it just more aesthetically pleasing you guys but i will be giving you guys like scarf um looks and tutorials soon i just have to order more scarves because i want it to look like fancy and i want to give you guys options but yes you guys Now, the last thing you need to help your hair growth is drink your water. I know a lot of people say that they drink water and it doesn't help, but I've never experienced that. So I'm just telling you guys based off my experiences, water has helped my hair grow so fast, like drastically. So make sure that you're drinking water, not even just for your hair benefit, but just for your body benefit in general. But this is the ending look, you guys. Thank you guys for watching and tuning into my video. Um, I hope that this has helped someone, especially if you're looking to just grow your hair out. It's not going to grow within a day or two, but it does help speed up the process, you guys. So I just wanted to share that with you because my hair has been going drastically. But yes, you guys, your girl is out. Peace out, y'all.